But our top story, well, Murli Deora's uh, statement saying petrol and diesel could be cheaper right after the assembly elections will now have to be defended before the election commission. The BJP has charged the oil minister with violating the model code of conduct, but the statement has also exposed the differences within the UPA when prices over when prices should be cut. The Prime Minister and his economic team have been arguing for more caution in cutting prices in a hurry. The party knows uh, it's good politics and wants a decision sooner than later. The Minister with violating the model code of conduct. For more on this, we're joined by NDTV Shweta Rajpal Kohli on the phone line. Shweta, clearly this is a case of politics versus economics, uh, but uh, what about the decision in fact to cut oil prices? Well, clearly, there are two controversies here. One, of course, uh, whether or not Muli Deora's statement at this point in time has violated the code of conduct or not, even though sources have confirmed that it's not. But the bigger controversy that's emerging right now is the sharp divide on whether or not fuel prices need to be cut at this point in time. Well, sources in the Petroleum Ministry have confirmed to NDTV that while there is a lot of pressure on the oil ministry from the Congress to actually go ahead and reduce prices for a number of reasons. One, because, of course, crude itself has dropped sharply as much as 70% from its record high of $147, and that means that oil companies right now are obviously making profits of about 10 litre on petrol and about one rupee on diesel and of course it was also a promise made by the government to, to consumers that once crude prices come down they will reduce prices but above all of this it makes pure good politics at this point in time to reduce prices especially at a time when BJP has been campaigning on uh, saying that uh, Mehengi Pari uh, Congress and, and this would be a clear answer to that campaign of the BJP but the other the other view of course is coming from the economic front uh, where uh, uh, where sources are telling us that the Prime Minister and his economic managers have a clear view right now that it does not make economic sense to reduce prices because there is, one, a lot of pressure on the government's finances given the deteriorating condition of the economy. The Finance Minister has already made it quite clear that he will not be giving more oil bonds and, of course, oil companies continue to make huge losses on kerosene and LPG even right now. So that does not mean that they are, they are making profits on all the four products. So this is clearly emerging, as you said, a case of economics versus politics right now. Back to you.